Uh, sweet friends, do you remember this shop that we went to and it was closed in a previous video? Well, we're back. Let's go in and see what they have to offer. Before we get started, I just want to welcome you if you're new here at FAM. My name is Rebecca. I do a lot of thrift with me and home decorating. Come along with me as I look for items to flip. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and if you ring the bell, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Wooden wishing wheels somebody made. $115. Hey, good morning. Are you open? Yeah. Morning. morning. First time visiting here, so we're going to browse through. Well, there's 10 for sale. All right, we will. We like when people come in and browse. Well, we didn't know you were here until today. Well, I've heard several more say that. Now, are these boot, little booths rented out to folks? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, sort of like something like that Peddler's Mall. And... Yeah, we, we rent the booths to people, and they put the stuff in, and we take care of it. Oh, well. And you charge uh, how much for your booths? $100 a month. Okay. No and commission. Then, no commission. Wow, okay. Will you have a waiting list? Yes. You do? Okay. Gotcha. Sure. Do you mind being on the video? <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your name? Shirley. And what's the address here? 2794 Stanford Road in Lancaster, Kentucky. Okay. Oh, look at this little cabinet. Hundred and fifty dollars. That's that's a cute cabinet for a hundred and fifty. If somebody Walmart, <laughs> if somebody uh, wanted to put that in their kitchen or bathroom, oh look at the natural wood on this one. This one is two hundred and twenty-seven. Look at the natural wood. I love that little cabinet. I wish I had the space for that. So guys, you have to let me know in the comments below, is there something that you guys like to collect? So when I'm out and about, maybe we'll run across something that you like to see. Oh, look at this. Small cabinet, 145. Oh, there's some old Crocs back there. 107 for that one. Looks like 95 for that one back there. How adorable. 265 for this little cabinet. Just a reminder to everybody, I still have a head cold, so I don't quite sound like myself. So forgive me if, um, if it sounds a little off. But what I'm finding about uh, this shop is that th this isn't like going to the yard sales and finding, you know, uh, those kind of deals and items that you may find for a, a dollar. These are more what I consider a collector's uh, booths for most of the items seem like they were at a little bit of a retail price. However, if you have a day off and you just want to get out and go browse, be sure and come by and stop by. It was wonderful to walk through this shop, see some of the uh, nostalgia items, as well as you never know, you're gonna find just that little treasure item to add to your collection. So I just found all kinds of intriguing little uh, items that I really liked, and I really enjoyed visiting uh, this shop. I did find a couple of items that I could use, but if you have an afternoon, 
that you just want to get away and go browse and enjoy uh, shopping at this little shop and I don't know how many booths they had I, I would imagine that they had 40 to 50 different uh, booths to look at and browse through and shop through oh, just $29 little skinny table. Never seen one like that. Twenty back there, three hundred dollars. Old school bench desk. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Windows are cute. Sorry, friends, to interrupt this portion of the video, but you guys know we have a giveaway. I did an unannounced Norwax giveaway in my deck refresh video. So those of you who watched, I mean, I didn't announce it. And those of you who um, had done what it said in the video was, had one entry to the Norwax giveaway. So we had 41 entries. And keep in mind, guys, if you get in the comments section something that looks like this, and I'm going to put this on the screen, that is not from me. That is a spam. Keep in mind, I don't do my giveaways that way, and it's very important that you remember that. I always do the name wheel, and then I will tell the winner to contact my email address in the description box below, and you give me your name and information so that I can send the giveaway item to you. That is the only way that I do my giveaways. I will not reach out to you in a comment. So I hope nobody fell for this. Now, I do want to mention some of my upcoming videos. It seems like I've got a little bit away from some decorating, 
but summertime, I did an early summertime decorating. I'm gonna enjoy that up to the fall, but I do have my summer home tour coming up with a collaboration with Nicole Cole over at the uh, Vintage Southern Belle. Love her channel, and I'll go ahead and link her information in the description box below in this video if you wanna go visit with her. But we're doing a collaboration around the 22nd to the 24th of this month, and we're going to do our summer home tours. In the meantime, until it's time to get ready for uh, fall decorating, I will be bringing to you some antiquing and thrifting videos, so I hope you're enjoying those. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and spin the wheel and let's see who our winner uh, is to the Norwax giveaway. Good luck, everyone. Karen, Karen Schropp, you are the winner. So be sure and reach out to me in the email address in the description box below, and I'll get those out to you. Those will be shipped to you from amazon.com, so don't be alarmed. I do thank everybody for participating and coming over watching the video, and let's get back to our video. Wooden bucket with the powder. Skirty. He just left. Mail can, forty bucks. Tree water, hundred. Tractor. Iron weight, right horse top, fishing basket. Log burger baskets.
you got to have the code to open it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Some old stuff. Oh. I'm going to have some iron stone. Is it cracked? It's cracked. Japan. Cracked it is. I'm a lost one. Four bucks, that's cute. Wish it was all white. And this little roll top desk. <laughs> For a child. Hundred bucks. Now there's a Clorox bottle I don't have. Look at this. I think I got that one. Did I get that one that big? I don't, I don't remember. I got one like that, but I don't have one like this. Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> My focus is like you really want to see it, you got to be here. Okay, well, hold it up for me. Let me see your Clorox bottle there. Yeah. I think I got this size. Did I get that? Is this? I don't remember us having this a is gallon. Purex. Yeah, I've seen several Purex bottles here. I don't think I got the big one. I think I'll grab it. 20 bucks for the both to put, clean up and put my, so that'll be four of them. That's about as many as I can get on the shelf. Oh, Clorox bottle. Does it say Clorox? Where's it say? It says one gallon. It doesn't say Clorox. It doesn't. No. It doesn't. Purex is those. I didn't know Purex had. Huh. Must have been two brands back then. New Orleans. SJ. That is different. Hmm. Mm. But those are saucers. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Four dollars for nine pieces. So it's three forty nine. Oh, maybe that's a eight forty nine. Um, I'll have these. The lamp, I, I got the little lamp because I want the bottom, I want the shade. But this is for my own house, not because uh, the little lamp's $4. Mm -hmm. I hope it works. Be worth it. This is just too cute when I fix up the booth and do a garden thing. How cute is that? It's three dollars. I found a couple of treasures. Hey, I would like to leave some scripture with you in Galatians 2.20. I am crucified with Christ, nonetheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me.